Right, hello everyone. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. Here is another uh, Olympiad maths problem. So it says we should find the remainder when this number is uh, divided by seven. Okay, so how are we going to tackle this kind of problem? Now, the first thing to note here is that all Olympiad problems are not done with calculators. And uh, even if we are to do this with a calculator, by the time you raise this number, to this power you will see that you are going to get a math error with your calculator because your calculator does not have space enough to contain the value of this particular um, uh, exponent or um, initial uh, number right so what are we going to do so we would need some um, basic uh, number principles to be able to evaluate this and there are about two of them that we are going to see so the first is uh, to note that if you have a raised to a particular number and then is divided remember when we are talking about the concept of uh, the remainder when you divide by an integer is actually the modular arithmetic so for instance if i say 9 mod 7 so what i'm indirectly saying is what is the remainder when 9 is divided by 7 okay and of course this is equal to 2 right so under modular arithmetic two things we need to note if i raise a to the power of n and then take the mode of this by maybe x okay so this is the same thing as uh, what is the same thing as taking a to the mode of x and then raising everything to power n and then if it is uh, more than x I will still take it to the mode of x again okay i will use an example to explain what i mean for instance if we give you something like 5 raised to the power of 2 mod 3 okay so instead of me doing 5 raised to the power of 3 which is 25 and then taking the mode of 3 which is actually a way is an approach of course if you do this you're going to get one as your answer because by the time you divide 25 by 3 you will get 8 remainder 1 okay so your remainder is actually 1 all right now instead of doing this multi uh, this uh, uh, simplifying this 5 raised power 2 into 25 what this principle i am showing us here does for you is that it tells you that uh, this is actually the same as uh, taking 5 mod 3 and then when I do that, I will then raise everything to power 2. And if it is more than 3, I will still take another mode 3. So let's simplify that. Let's see if we also get 1. If I take 5 mode 3, I am going to get uh, 2. Okay, of course, 5 divided by 3 is 1 remainder 2. So when you raise this to the power of 2, you will get 4. Now, 4 is more than 3, so you take it to mode 3 again, and this will actually give you 1, which is the same as what we got here. So this is the first principle that we are going to be applying in solving this problem. All right, and what is the second one? The second one has to do with multiplication. Now, that one says that um, if I have, uh, let's say, A, you know, multiplied by B, all in mode maybe mode x so this one says that this is actually the same thing as a mode x multiplied by b mode x and if after i do this whatever i get if it is still more than the mod you still take it down to the mod of x and that will be your solution so let's see an example of what i'm trying to paint or the picture I'm trying to create. If we have, for instance, let's say the same five may be multiplied by something like, uh, let's say seven, all in mod three. Let's still use mod three. Okay, so you can see that if I take five mod three, all right, this is going to multiply seven mod three. And from what we have here, five mod three is two multiplied by 7 mod 3 which is 1 and this is equal to 2 so this is your final answer since it's not up to 3 so there is no need 
to take the mode of that so can we check if it is still the same thing we'll get assuming we multiply this out first before taking the mode so let's see 5 times 7 is 35 and by the time you take it to the mod of 3 3 dividing 35 will give you 11 11 remainder 2 so of course your answer is also equal to 2 okay so these two principles are uh, what we are going to be applying you know as touching the example that we have to do okay so and the example says that we should get the remainder when um two 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 raised to the power of five 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 is uh, divided so we are taking the mod of that the mod seven of that number okay so what are we going to do now right so the first thing is to see uh, okay uh, meanwhile there's also another principle which i'm going to bring along as we continue so the first thing is to check the mode of the number below okay so if we do that we are going to see that uh, our 2 2 2 mode 7 is equal to is equal to 3 okay so you can check that 2 2 mod 7 is equal to 3 so how do you know that just divide 2 2 2 2 by 7 and check the remainder if you do that you will get um, 3 1 7 remainder 3 over 7 okay so the mod of these two 7 is uh, equal to 3 okay so the next thing now is that uh, we now have that what it means is that our 2 2 2 2 raised to the power of 5 5 5 is going to be equal to the that sorry is going to be equivalent to of course we've gotten it in mode 7 let me let me put it this way in mode 7 um, this is going to be equivalent to 3 which is what we got for the denominator so it will be 3 raised to the power of 5, 5, 5, and 5 again in mode 7. Okay, so we are trying to now simplify this and see what is going to give us. Okay, now before we progress, the other principle which we need to also note is the fact that if I have any number that I take the mod and then I get 1, then no matter the power I raise it to, I will still get 1. So what it means is that, for instance, if I have something like 7 mod 6, of course, you can see 7 mod 6 is 1. Um, and of course, what we are saying is that if you like, raise this 7 to power 1 million or power whatever, you will still get 1. Okay, so following the principle of what I just explained now, that you will raise the mod, that's the answer you get, which is 1, to whatever is the power. So assuming that what we have here is power 15, so I will need to raise this 1 to power 15. And of course, you know 1 raised to power anything is equal to 1. So is this other one that we are going to apply at this point? And how are we going to do that? We will look for a way to split this in such a way that we will get one part to be in mode one and the other part will be in another mode and then we'll multiply to get our final answer so see what i'm trying to explain now okay so for instance i know that um okay so how do i uh, get that now i have this to juggle with so see what we are going to do i'm going to ask myself first of all what is the smallest number that i will raise three to and when I take it to mod 7, I will get 1. So you will try by raising it to the different powers. You can try from 2. Of course, if I raise 3 to the power of 2, I will get 9. And 9 in mod 7 will be equal to 2. So that's not what I want. If I raise it to power 3, I will get 27. And 27 in mod 7 is going to be equal to 3. That's not what I want. If I raise it to the power of 4, I will get 81. And 81 in mod 7 is going to give me 4. Okay, if I raise it to the power of 5, I will get 2, 4, 3. Okay, and 2, 4, 3 in mod 7 is 5. And that's not what I want. You can check that. Divide it by 7 and see what the remainder will be. Okay, if you check, yeah, you have remainder 5. Okay, so what about power 6? 
if I raise 3 to the power of 6, I will get uh, 7 to 9. Okay, and if you take this to mod 7, that's divide that by 7, you will see that you are going to get a remainder of 1. Please help me check that so that uh, you will be sure that it is correct. So, so what it means is that if I raise 3 to the power of 6, um, then take it in mod 7, I am definitely going to get uh, 1. Okay, now let's get back. Okay, so what it means is that 3 to the power of 6 in mode 7 is equal to 1. Now, can I split this in such a way that it's going to get me the part that will eventually get 1? Okay, and how do I do that? I will quickly divide uh, my 555 by uh, 6. If I divide it by 6, see what is going to happen. So you will see that you will get 9 to 5, um, 9 to 5 whole number remainder 5. So the meaning is that uh, if I do, watch what I'm going to do here. It means that if I do 6 times 9 to 5, that I am going to get uh, that's 5,550. You can check that. Okay, remember I said remainder 5, okay? So the implication is that my 3 raised to the power of 555 is going to now be equal to, that is 3 raised to the power of uh, 6 times 925 and uh, plus 5. Watch that carefully so that you get what I'm doing. Of course, 3 times 925, I've already said here, is 5550. When you now add 5 to it, you get back our five, uh, uh, 5 into 4. So I didn't change anything in that case. Okay, so but what am I trying to get? You know by the law of indices that when you have the multiplication of powers, that this is the same thing as 3 raised to the power of 6 or raised to the power of 9 to 5. And then the addition of powers here will now mean multiplication of 3 raised to the power of 5. Of course, if you take this backwards, you get the same answer. We have not really changed anything. And what exactly am I driving at? Okay, already I know that 3 raised to power 6 mod 7 is equal to 1. So no matter the power I raise it to, I am still going to get 1. Then I will now multiply it by 3 raised to the power of 5 mod 7. Okay, I hope you are still following me. All right, so that means on this side, I have one multiplied by. Now, in this case, remember what we said in the previous place that uh, once we have anything raised to the power of something, that we can just take the mod of, let, let's use this one, that we can just take the mod of the number and then raise the answer to the power and check if we can take another mod. Okay, so let's quickly do that here. So since we have 3 raised to the power of 5, all in mod 7. So 3 mod 7 is actually 3. So let's look at 3 raised to the power of 5 and see what is going to give us. And 3 raised to the power of 5 is equal to, I think we have done that before, is equal to 2, 4, 3. Okay, so that's 2, 4, 3 in mod 7. Okay, and I think we got 5. So we are going to have 1 multiplied by the mod of this is equal to 5. And so your final answer to this question is actually 5. Okay, so that is uh, how to go about this kind of problem. So whenever you're giving, you will note these two principles and uh, these two. And then the last one that talks about when a number is raised to the power of 1. Okay, so the essence of all this is to give you speed in answering questions of uh, Olympia problems. Okay, without calculators, you can actually navigate your way and then eventually get your answer. Right, so this is where we end it for this video. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and do share our videos to your friends and colleagues. We'll see you in our next content. Bye.